Hey, I'm Kier, and it's day four of this vlog thing. Last night, I did something I haven't done in a really long time. I watched a TV show in real time. Now, I cut, uh, cut off cable uh, three, or three years ago now. And uh, I've been using Hulu, I've been using um, Amazon, I've been using Netflix uh, to fill in the uh, hole left in my yeah, schedule with uh, the shows I used to watch. Uh, there's only one network that I can't regularly watch stuff from, and that's CBS, because they pulled out of Hulu pretty much right after Hulu started, and I've found that viewing stuff on the CBS website is kind of painful most of the time. At least it was a year or so ago the last time I bothered to try. So last night, I wanted to see the season premiere of the new uh, Heroes television series, Heroes Reborn, because I'm a huge fan of the original series from a handful of years ago. Uh, and everything I've seen about this new one looked absolutely fantastic. And I thought, hey, it would be a really unique thing for me at, at this point to watch something in real time the way, you know, most people still do. So I picked up a uh, cheap HD antenna uh, off of Amazon, uh, plugged it into the uh, TV, and it looked like I'd be getting pretty good reception uh, for at least NBC. Oddly, I still can't watch stuff on CBS because the signal from the local CBS affiliate does not get picked up well at all by the uh, antenna, the cheap antenna that I have. I got the next model up, it would probably come in uh, just fine. But it's a good thing that I didn't get the uh, next model up because I will not be watching TV in real time on a regular basis. Uh, I've gotten so used to having full control over when and how I watch stuff that going back to being beholden to a schedule more specific than what day was yesterday, um, I can't make it work with the other stuff that I like doing. Uh, editing these vlogs, shooting these vlogs. It's, I took two hours to, out of my schedule uh, yesterday to watch that season premiere of Heroes. Now, aside from the fact that it would have only been about an hour and 40 minutes uh, on uh, Hulu today, it also meant that there was nothing else I could really do until that show was over. Because I can't edit stuff while watching something on TV. The, the sound doesn't work that way. My focus doesn't work that way. But the... Uh, if I had had, if I were watching it on uh, Hulu or on any other service, even even a DVR, where I have control over pausing the show, stopping the show, waiting for a little while until I can watch the show, well, I would have had yesterday's vlog up a whole lot sooner. That personal control is something uh, that that I hadn't realized how much I was making use of. Uh, apparently I am. I'll say, no, no, I'll start that show in about five minutes. And that lets me go and cook my food, lets me go and uh, take care of something online, lets me catch up on that one more YouTube video before I go and uh, watch stuff that's piled up in my Hulu queue, or my Netflix queue, or that show I just bought on Amazon. And without that freedom, I have a lot of trouble getting stuff done, it would seem. So, I have the HD antenna. It'll come in handy every now and then. It may let me think about catching stuff that uh, the, any given network doesn't put up on Hulu or Amazon. Uh, most likely, I'll just wait for it to make its way to Netflix. That freedom of choice, that ability to set your own schedule for when you watch these shows is kind of fantastic. Now, granted, it has also kind of completely changed the community aspect of television. Event TV isn't really a thing anymore. 
Uh, there, there's no show, or there are fewer shows, where people feel the absolute need to watch them the night they're on. Uh, that's even more true for people who don't watch a lot of TV to begin with, uh, or people like me, who are really tech-savvy and kind of into this whole being able to control when we watch things uh, aspect of it. So time-shifting completely changed the water cooler conversation the next day. Because now, in any given office, in any given group, you're bound to have a handful of people who, while they may watch the same shows you do, they don't watch them at the same time you do. This has also created an interesting fan community for shows online. Because now you can also completely catch up on any given show over the course of a week or two. Sometimes less if it's a shorter show, which lets you dive right in to the fan community. So if you come across the original run of Heroes, you can watch all of that on Netflix. All four seasons of it on Netflix, and then you can talk about it like someone, uh, like me, who watched it when it was brand new. And you can do that without having to buy the DVDs. All you need is your Netflix subscription. Uh, and for other shows, uh, for The West Wing, for all these other shows, some of which are pretty culturally iconic, but haven't been on the air for decades, you can get those references firsthand, as opposed to just reading a Wikipedia article. It's a completely different way of the community coming together, of being able to join in that conversation, of being able to f discover all of these little things it's kind of amazing, and even just ten years ago, I wouldn't have expected it to be as big a deal and as different as it is now. I was reminded of that last night as uh, I sat through uh, worrying about the quality of my uh, reception to begin with, uh, and then ending up really frustrated as commercials spooled through and I couldn't just pause the show. And I had to wait for the show to be over before I could do anything else. Uh, and not because I had to stop what I was doing in order to watch the show. I don't normally deal with that. It was good to be reminded of uh, how things have changed. Well, that's it for today. Uh, if you liked what you saw, hit the like button uh, down at the bottom. Uh, if you want to continue with me on this journey, uh, hit the subscribe button. And after you hit the subscribe button, be sure to hit the little gear and uh, turn on email notifications. So YouTube will send you uh, a notice as soon as uh, one of these videos posts. And if there's anyone else uh, you know of who may be interested in these random ramblings, uh, share this with them. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I uh, ho hope that uh, if you have anything to say, you'll uh, put it down in the comments there. Uh, I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.